Joining us now, the Democratic strategist, the CNN political contributor, James Carville, and Frank Donatelli, uh, chairman of GOPAC, a uh, former high-ranking official in the RNC. Guys, thanks very much Thank for you. coming in. I'm going to play this little clip, James. This is what the president said earlier today in Turkey, uh, a Muslim country, a NATO ally. That we can create a modern international community that is respectful, uh, is uh, secure, that is prosperous, uh, that there are not tensions, inevitable tensions, uh, between cultures, which I think is extraordinarily important. Uh, that's something that's very important to me. You know, I've said before uh, that one of the great strengths of the United States is, uh, although as I mentioned, uh, you know, we have a very large Christian population, we do not consider ourselves a Christian nation or a Jewish nation or a Muslim nation. Uh, we consider ourselves uh, a nation of citizens who are uh, bound by ideals and a set of values. I think Turkey was, modern Turkey was founded uh, with a similar set of principles. Uh, and yet uh, what we're seeing is in both countries uh, that promise of a secular country that is respectful of religious freedom, respectful of rule of law, uh, respectful uh, of uh, freedom, upholding these values and being willing to stand up for them in the international stage. All right, in your native south, uh, how's that going to play, uh, James, when he says we do not consider ourselves a Christian nation? Well, I mean, uh, look, uh, there are some people that think we should we should have the sort of Christianity in the Constitution or something like that. Stand to the fathers thought about that, and they rejected that idea. And we are a nation of values and not one religion. And I think most people understand that. We we may be, uh, as I am a Christian, and some people are not. But but that's not what defines us as a nation. We're, we're defined by our laws. And then and when we go where we go to church on Sunday or Saturday or Friday is is people's own business. And I, I think some people may take offense to that, but I think a vast majority of Americans agree with that statement. I mean, look. Are people going to say that he denied we had Christians in a country? Of course they're going to say that kind of foolishness. Actually, what he said is very accurate, and of course we're, we're, we're shaped by, by, by many things, and, and uh, certainly the founding fathers were helped shaped by the Abrahamic tradition or the Judeo-Christian tradition or whatever we say. But what he said was an absolute fact. And I think that it was, he just repeated something, but sometimes there's value in, in stating the obvious, and that's what he did, and I think there was some value. I, I think he was trying to underscore to a country like Turkey, uh, where there's a, it's a predominantly, it's a, a mostly Muslim nation, that there should be a separation of church and state. Well, that's not a problem for our country. We believe in separation of church and state. We are no longer a Christian nation, at least not just. We are also a Jewish nation, and a Muslim nation, and a Buddhist nation, and a Hindu nation, and a nation of non-believers.